Okay, this is my 12th interview video on the mission field. I am officially at one year of being in Ghana as a missionary. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about that I've been a missionary for a year, I've been in Ghana for a year, and I'm halfway. Halfway there, halfway done. It's, it's really exciting. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a cool feeling. So currently, I am in Senchi. Um, I, I've been here for about my second transfer. For about my second month here. And Elder Ali was my former companion, the last transfer, and now this transfer. I am training. I am in my first transfer with my son, Elder Mortenton. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Training is amazing. I love introducing my son to the work, to Ghana, to the food, the culture, teaching him how to teach. I love it. I feel like I'm right where I need to be, which is something that I've wanted to feel for a while. I'm feeling it now. It's really amazing. So, um, training is sometimes difficult. Well, it's very difficult, but I, I've i been very reliant on my Savior to help me to be able to magnify my efforts. And something I find myself doing a lot is going forward with faith. Sometimes I don't know exactly where we're going to go or what we're going to do, but going forward with faith, doing that, I've seen miracles every single day, which is just amazing. Our... Our zone, the, the Pong zone, the Ho zone, and the JoJ zone. We just got back from a zone conference. Um, our last zone conference was in Pong, so just a few, like a 10 minute drive from where I am staying from in Senji. And this time it was in Ho, which I know that plays very well. I, I've had many zone conferences there before when I was in Ho Boy. And it was really good to see a lot of my old buddies there. My old zone, a few missionaries that I have known for my whole mission. It was really good to see them and to spend some time. It's, it's always a happy day when I have a zone conference. I get to see my friends. And most importantly, I get to be edified from the spirit through my leaders. President and Sister Beeson are wonderful. I absolutely love them. And learning from them, receiving inspiration for myself, how I can be a better missionary, and kind of find ways to improve my personal growth and recognizing personal growth. It's something that I really love about his own conference. So as far as mission goes, I feel like I am so happy. I don't know how else to say it. I just find so much joy and happiness that comes with being a missionary as well as keeping the commandments and doing it in a way that is because of my love for my Savior. A lot of the times I would, in my past, I would keep commandments um, situationally. Oh, I'm in a situation where I should probably do this, I'll do it, and then when I'm in another situation where I don't really need to, I don't really do it. Or I would do it because I was afraid of a punishment. Which, it's good to keep commandments, but that's, that's not a way that will help me feel joy and peace in my life. So, feeling joy and peace immense joy and peace in my life now has really affected my missionary work and my life. I've seen so much happiness and like a switch in my mission just as I have immersed myself in the study of the Book of Mormon 
and, re and very reliant and very focused on a connection with my Heavenly Father through prayer. I have literally been praying so often and pleading with the Savior and my Heavenly Father to just magnify my efforts enough to just inspire someone to help that person feel my love and most importantly the love of their Savior to find and follow Him. I feel like I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing and my love for my Savior has grown tremendously and I have really come to know and recognize and to teach with the Book of Mormon. I love that book so much. It truly is another testament of Jesus Christ. I love it. And I, I can't get enough of it. If I was to look back at this video a year ago, I wouldn't believe that this is me. No way. Because I am not anything like this. The gospel, Jesus Christ, and the mission has changed me so much. And I'm so tremendously grateful for how far I've come in just one year. And I'm so excited and pumped for what this next year brings for me. And especially as I have one more transfer to finish the training of my son, Ella Mortensen. So, yeah, that is, that is how it is going right now. Um, I, I'm so happy. I love being here in Senju, in the Palm Zone, with the Morning City, as a trainer. It's amazing. Living the gospel, keeping the commandments, loving God, loving the people, loving who I am, being patient with myself, letting myself grow. I couldn't be happier. So... Anyway, interview number 12, halfway there, one year down, one year to go, so pretty awesome. I love you guys.